Welcome back everyone. We're, we're going to be starting a new Let's Play, Conker's Bad Fur Day. If you watched my last video, which was going through the whole, you know, year of Let's Plays and top 10 videos and things of that nature that I've done throughout the last year, you will have seen at the end what this Let's Play was going to be. And it was in fact going to be Conker's Bad Fur Day. We we're going to take it back where it all started and that is Rareware. Started with Banjo-Kazooie and now here we are with Conker's Bad Fur Day, the much more mature cartoony title. Um, let's see, which one of these can we start? Okay, so we have this one. And there's game three, that one's at the end. Chapter, options, multiplayer, and then game one. All right, so let's go to game three. Erase. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and start the new game. Such a good game. I love this game. Never played on the GameCube version or the uh, Xbox 360 or the or the original Xbox. Never played that version. and Barry. It's actually been a while since I've played over this game. Like a really long time. Should start talking soon. reference but I don't really know what the movie is. Eventually we will get to the conversation. This is all the well, friends that you'll find there it is. There I am. Conquer the king. King of all the land. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. And what a day that was. It's what I call a bad fur day. Alright, let's get it started. I love the cutscenes in this game. They're just so masterful. At Barry's house. Reminds me of, um, Lola Bunny. for the guys and they're off tomorrow to some I don't know fight some war somewhere anyway um I'll see ya <laughs> love, love you <laughs> I think she won it conquer put the phone down oh oh uh, right whose round is it yours what again okay can someone lend me a fiver uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. I'll, I'll go this way. Oh, oh, no, that's the toilets. I'll go this way. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that looks too good tonight. Oof. 
Ooh, I know that. Make it out. Anyway, it seems pretty familiar to me. This way, I suppose. begins. It's gonna be one of those days. Yeah, Conquer, it is. It's gonna be one of those days. I love this. I mean, look at this. He can't even, like, swing or anything. Tongue sticking out. He's green. I love this game. This is such a treasure. Alright, so we're drunk. We got our, not really drunk, but we got a hangover. Really, really bad hangover. And my first time yeah. ever seeing this game was from Nintendo Capri Sun oh, and his blind let's play. Oh, that's the last time I drink it. And when I saw that, I fell in love with this game and had to pick it up eventually. Scarecrow. Hey, hey. Uh, who are you? Oh, hello. Can you help me? I I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. <laughs> oh no no. Oh, so you can't help me at all. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, uh, yes, I can. Maybe. Um. Okay. What's your name? Beardy. Beardy. You haven't got a beard. No. Birdie, I scare birdies. Okay, Birdie. Um, so how you, can you help me? Right. Let's step over here. Alright, let me drunk walk over there. Bad hangover. You see those buttons? Actually, you'll find that... Uh, uh, they could contact sensitive. <laughs> and, uh, uh, well, actually, they, uh, uh, pressed B. Press B. Oh, yeah. The light comes on. Uh, and it makes this nice ting. Right, a ting noise. Nice ting. Dead rock ting. 
That's it. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll press B. I love the fourth wall break in this Ooh. game. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what I do. I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, what does that mean? It means contact sensitive. It's sensitive to contacts. Try it over there. Okay. Well, you can try it again. to our other D-pad. Oh, just what I needed. In fact, it would seem to me that these give me just what I need at that moment in time. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Oh, and I feel loads better. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press Never. the L button. But you will have to have watched them at least once. Alright, so now we are more mobile. Can travel, can move. Don't have the spinning tail move yet, but we should be getting that like in 15 seconds. I think. Look at him with the little swimmies on. Oh, I can't seem to get any further. I'm sure there was something. Ah, yeah, now I remember. Hold the Z button down, and I should crack. Now then, what was it? Oh, yeah. Press A to jump extra high. A, just jump extra high. Then A again to do that funny helicopter tail thing. Now that makes me harbor. That's hmm. what we need. I should easily get across that gap. Um, are you sure you've got that? Yeah, we got it. Alright, so that will be the famous jump that we will be using. And then the long jump is... Alright, cool. Or not the long jump, the high jump. Yeah, it's been so long since I've played over this game. Because the last time I played it, it was for the most part ah, the multiplayer. Guy. If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, you're a real charm. I just want to get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. Alright, so we gotta get away from him. Let's go over here. It's a lot, easy, a lot easier to go down than it is up. So let me just go over here. No, we're locked in forever. Come here. Hang on. Something missing here. Didn't I have a... Ah. Yeah. Try pressing B and see what that does. Alright, let's push B and see what that um, does. Are you sure you've got that? Yeah, I got it. 
The famous frying pan. I forget how tough this guy is to hit. Where, where did he go? Alright, he wasn't too bad. Hey, old Bill. We just go in there and it's simply to remember. Oh no! How do I get back up? It's this way, right? Alright, so let's go back up there, I guess. Alright, what was I saying before I fell? It's kind of funny that we go in that room just to remember we have a frying pan. I do like um, the Xbox version, where I, I the way you get the frying pan is a little more interesting because there's like a wall in that room with a bunch of weapons and stuff, and then he picked up the frying pan. The frying pan. <laughs> you stupid little. <laughs> this scene also gets switched up in the. Uh, Xbox remake. He hits him with a frying or he hits him with a frying pan at first, I think, but then he pulls out. I forget what weapon he has. I think he has a bat in that one. He doesn't have the frying pan, which is a bit unfortunate. All right, concept, context sensitive. This dynamite. Um, I think I know what's gonna happen now. Fantastic. Let's go and get some shut eye. Finally. Let's go inside. Alright. Now the overworld. After another cutscene. The wingy. I what it's like and what it's like. Like I got entrance? Oh, Professor, welcome. I have a job for you, as you can see. The table, ah, yes. So, I have spent the milk again. Oh, that's not good, not good. Let me have a look at it, soil. Yes, I... I think I see the problem. I will see you for I... She must give me a moment, though. I'll come back later. Don't be too low. Uh, I will be as quick as I can, sir. Because we know what happened. Last time. Oh, on it a well. On it a well. I, I'll go now. I don't want to have to get the duck tape out again. Uh, uh, yes. Wait, no. And uh, I don't want you to get the duct tape out again. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Not really sure what that means. Duct tape? I'll get him a duct tape. <laughs> asshole. I'll come down here. I'll show him what the duct tape is. I'll show him where to stuff it. Stop it. All I do all day is trying to stop his stupid problems out of the asshole. Yeah. Anyway, so what's very? Um, the milk, the milk, the table, the table, the table. What shall we do? What shall we do with this? Um, clean slate. Yeah, clean slate. Uh, this, uh, anti gravity chocolate is kind of working. Uh, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. At the f window with that. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's that famous music and chocolate, our health source. So let's go ahead and munch on some chocolate and check it out, we're in the overworld. Here we are, and I love this area, and look at this. 
so awesome. I love that music. Oh, yeah. This overworld just looks so crazy. The thing I love about it, though, is if you've ever played this game, and this game came out in 2001, the thing I like about this overworld is... Let me see if I can get a good view. But you can see literally almost every every um area that you'll visit you'll see there's the castle which is also the bank behind there is the bank that you'll go into uh, that's like a haunted place that you'll go to i mean there's just like cool little things there so we'll like visit all these places so it's kind of cool that you'll visit all these different little locations and you can see it right here so that's one thing I like about the overworld if you've ever played the game you know that like I said it came out in 2001 and then Xbox I think it came out on Xbox in like I don't even remember 2006 I, I, I have no idea when that game came out during that time but I'm not going to go into it too much, I guess. We can go ahead and talk to her for this episode. Ooh, nasty, nasty go ahead and get this knocked out. Whatever shall we do? My beautiful hive is gone. Oh, I'll never see it again now. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Please get it back for us. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. I'll go and get it for you. Where is it? Oh, just follow the signs. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, so we gotta get her hive back. So, we will do that in the next episode, I guess, because we are already running at around 22 minutes. And the first episode had a lot of cutscenes. This whole game has a lot of cutscenes, but the first one in particular has a lot of cutscenes with little to no gameplay because, well, you have to go through all that to get to the gameplay. But I'll go ahead and end this one here, and in the next episode, we're going to go get us a hive. So, see you all in the next one. See you next time.